Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it today. Hey, I just recorded this video yesterday, but I'm putting it out today uh, because I just saw this and I didn't want to overwhelm people with too many videos in one day, right? So anyway, the VA is making a conscious effort to prioritize some things. And one of those things that they're looking to prioritize is mental health. And now listen, here's the thing with mental health. Whether you think you need it or you don't, that's besides the point. For those of us that do need it and are looking for it or whatever, this is a great thing. And the more that we push this information out to the bigger masses of us, the more that they'll know that it's there. So I wanted to go through this because, you know, mental health is a big basket, right? And when it comes to VA claims for benefits, Think about your benefits, your VA compensation, disability benefits with the VA. Those benefits are under the mental health umbrella. It's one rating. So it's not like the rest of your body where, you know, if you have a bad arm, a bad back and a bad leg, that's three different ratings. In the mental health world, what happens is if you have, we'll just throw out some PTSD, MST, um, you have depression, anxiety, and insomnia. All of those things fall under the mental health umbrella. And the VA looks at all of your signs and symptoms and, and all that stuff all wound up into that kind of like a rubber band ball, okay? That rubber band ball now becomes your combined rating for mental health. So they will look at all those signs and symptoms and they'll say, hey, you're at whatever, 30%, 50%, 70%, 100%, whatever you're at for all of your mental health. So let's dive into this a little bit. It's pretty short, so, you know, but I wanted to get this out to you because the, the, the headline here is prioritizing veterans' mental health, addressing access to care. And let me put it to you this way as well. When you are talking about getting care from the VA, if your condition doesn't get worse and that's getting documented, now your condition can become a static condition, leading to a permanent and total rating. In addition, getting that access to care for these VA benefits for mental health will also allow you the ability to maybe go in for an increase if your condition has gotten progressively worse. Uh, so there's different aspects, you know, to besides the obvious, right? Getting care, treatment is important, period. Beyond that, it's these other things, these kind of the, the residual or the cascading effects that come off of getting the stuff that we need. So let me jump into this article and see what it says here for you. So here it, it has a picture. It says, today I am supporting veterans mental health. And it's just a couple of little hands, and a little ball. Uh, next to it says, prioritizing veterans' mental health, addressing access to care. And it says, reducing the stigma surrounding mental health treatment. And May 28th, 2023, this came out, uh, which was actually today, or I mean yesterday, I'm recording it today, which is Memorial Day, and I'm going to put it out tomorrow morning for you. So good morning. Um, let's jump into it. May, April, May, is mental health health awareness month and an annual observance to honor the courage of millions of americans living with mental health conditions celebrate the loved ones and professionals who support them and reduce the stigma surrounding mental health treatment right so i will tell you i can't even count how many people i have talked to who go to file claims and they're like, well, I'm just not going to kind of skip the PTSD thing for now and we'll just sit it over here and I'm going to focus on all these other things and see what I can get. And, you know, maybe they get to 70 or 80 percent and they're still hesitant about putting in for PTSD and it's not, well, sometimes it is, but often it's not because they're going to get a rating for PTSD. It's because they don't want to go to treatment to get it documented so they can get uh, the PTSD 
as a service connected condition. Uh, you know, they, they're not ready to talk about it. Um, they don't want to go to any sort of group. They don't want um, other people to know, the, you know, other people in the community, depending on what kind of job they have, whatever. So, um, you know, who am I to judge, right? So all I'm going to say is that, is that I think it's, uh, I think it's worthwhile um, to go. And what's the worst case scenario, right? Um, you walk away with some documentation uh, for your claim. That's your worst case scenario. Your best case scenario is you actually get something out of it. You meet some good people um, if you're going to a group uh, and, and you actually have something to kind of uh, look forward to, to, to going to and, you know, kind of shooting the, the, the breeze with your brothers and sisters. So anyway, let's move on. Uh, prioritizing your mental health enables you to continue building memories with the ones you love by being there for them physically and mentally. There is no right path on your mental health journey because everyone's experience is different. Opening up about challenges is the first step to mental well-being. Those challenges might include feelings of loneliness, distress, and anxiety, or feelings that things won't improve. Let me tell you, Things can improve and things will improve. It's just you got to do something a little bit different. And I'll tell you this. When we grow, no matter what we're doing, okay, no matter what it is, whether it's professional, whether it's this, that, whatever, right, whatever it is, when we grow as people, you got to be uncomfortable before you can grow. So you have to put yourself in an uncomfortable situation. Then when you're in that uncomfortable situation and you get past it, you grow, right? Think of the little kid that was scared to slide down that biggest slide, right? Or scared to jump out of the swing when they see all the other kids jumping out of the swing. Can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. No, 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 mind telling you no. Then they do it, now they've grown. They know they can do that. So same type of mentality, right? So we need to push, continue to push ourselves just like we did when we were in the military. You had to push, your mind would tell you no. Remember that. Your mind always tells you, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Um, you know, anyway, let's get back to this. All right. So, open about the challenges. That Those challenges might include feelings of, da, da, da. Regardless of what you are experiencing, you're not alone. We've, we're, we're all enduring some of the suck, right, in one way or another. So, and a, a lot of us have chewed some of the same dirt. Um, so, and I'm talking about the collective of everybody who was watching this. Uh, seeking help is a sign of strength, just like seeking help for physical health, right? So, th there was one time, you know, so everybody pretty much knows the uh, that logo for the Wounded Warrior Project. So, you got the one, we'll say service member. One service member, he's got his other one kind of like a fireman's carry and he's going, um, and uh, I was at a somewhere, I can't remember, and uh, a speaker for the Wounded Warrior Project said, you know, threw up the logo and he said, which one's injured? And, out to the, and he said, they both are, right? So, you know, just because the one is physically not wounded, he is wounded, right? So it's just because you can't see it. Uh, so let's move on. Help is available. There are many resources available to assist veterans through their challenges. VAs, Make the Connection features veteran stories about experiences that made a difference in their daily lives. Watch, read, and listen to veterans and their family members share real stories of strength and recovery. Find useful information in local mental health resources and explore ways to show your support. In times of distress, veterans can call 988 and press 1. Text 838-255 or chat online to connect with the Veterans Crisis Line. This free 24-7 confidential resource offers support from trained professionals to anyone, including family members and friends of veterans. Share that information. Preventing suicide among all veterans is VA's top clinical priority. VA provides critical life-saving care to, for veterans in acute um, Suicidal crisis, including former service members who were victims of sexual assault or harassment during military service. 
VA will furnish, pay, and, or reimburse the cost of eligible veterans emergent suicide care. My son's screaming in the background, so sorry for that. And treatment at the VA or non-VA facility. This includes ambulance transportation related prescriptions up to 30 days of inpatient or crisis residential treatment and up to 90 days of outpatient care at no cost to veterans. Ending the stigma. Reducing mental health stigma is key to encouraging veterans to get help they need. Acknowledging they need Acknowledging the need for help takes courage, but it is the first step toward healing. It's okay to work toward improving your own mental health. It's good for you, and it empowers others to begin their own mental health journey. Don't wait. Learn more ways to reach out for support. Then it has a link of a few different resources here, Veteran Suicide Prevention, Veteran Emergency Care, and Emergency Care Information for Providers. I will tell you also, many of us think of the VA, and we just think of those letters, VA. And that's it. There's also the vet center. Uh, vet centers are strewn across the U.S. Um, they're not as prevalent as VA hospitals and clinics, but they they are around. And again, it's vet center, and they they're they're under the VA umbrella, but they kind of sit off on the side. They run kind of their own operation, and they kind of do it in their own way. Um, I've been to a few of them, talked to a few different folks. Uh, they're they're fantastic, and if uh, if you uh, so choose, you should reach out and, and uh, see if there's one near you, and um, you know, see if that's something that's uh, that fits your your what you're looking for. So with that, we'll go ahead and conclude it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.